Okay guys, this is small fac first aid kit part two and this is a small pocket first aid kit. Let's go ahead and open this one up and I'll show you how long I've had this. Okay guys, well here's how I know that it's an old kit and I've had this for a long time but take a look at this. 25 cents times two for 50 cents to use for a public phone to call for help. So this goes back to right around the beginning of uh, cell phones becoming really popular and readily accessible. Anyway, I think it's still a good kit. Um, let's take a look at the contents. Petroleum gauze, extra large band-aid, small band-aid, large band-aid, a circular band-aid. Nowadays I probably wouldn't consider putting that in a kit. Bacitracin, which is uh, antibiotic ointment, Tylenol, an alcohol prep, some moleskin, some tape, gauze, safety pin, and a tweezer and a razor. Let's go ahead and open this kit up. Okay, before we open up the uh, pocket first aid kit, let's take a look at the container. The box is basically a small giveaway first aid kit, and somehow I ended up getting four or five of them and I turned them into pocket first aid kits. Again, most kits that you get just don't have all the stuff you need, so I always like to add to it. But the box was perfect to fit in a, in a uh, pocket or in a side pocket of a backpack. Another option are these Johnson & Johnson personal first aid kits. And I've seen these at pretty much every pharmacy and uh, department store in our area and even at the Dollar Tree. In fact, this is where I got this particular one was at the Dollar Tree. My wife and I bought 20 of them and we had a, a Cub Scout project where we turned... Uh, each boy had one of these and they turned them into a pocket first aid kit for their outdoor uh, equipment. So when you look at these kits, they come with some very basic in ingredients, but um, I think that you need to augment any of these kits. But the box is absolutely perfect for a small pocket first aid kit. So that's where this kit started its life. Okay, when I made this kit initially, I took some white electrical tape and I sealed the edge so that it would not pop open. So we'll take that off. Now that tape can of course be used for a lot of things so I wouldn't get rid of it out in the field. And all I did was print a label on my computer, laminated it with some uh, clear plastic tape and put that on as well as the kit contents. And that's just a nice way of knowing what's in this kit. You'll see that it's pretty packed in there. So there's the mole skin. A package of Tylenol. Some small circular bandages. Those are good for, you know, a very small cut, obviously. Some larger band-aids. Remember there's the large and small. And then we've got the extra large band-aid and that's good for knee scrapes and that type of thing. It's interesting all this stuff is kind of just stuck a little bit to the adhesive on the uh, tape. So this is a uh, single edge razor blade and I use that as a mandrel to wrap about uh, three feet, four feet of uh, micropore 3M medical tape. There's an alcohol prep. There's the antibiotic ointment. Two quarters. Guess those are handy for something. Again, these are the tweezers that I like to use. I, I get them um, either REI or you can buy them online. Um, I can post some resources, but these are perfect for getting small splinters out and uh, they don't weigh very much and they're flat. Safety pin, again, that's good for getting a splinter out and if you ever had to gently drain the edge of a blister, that's what I would use. Another alcohol prep. 
I put an 18 gauge needle in this kit. Um, boy, that's an old one. I bet this kit is a good, um, I don't know, 10 or 15 years easily. But that's also good for uh, digging out a, a splinter or draining a blister. A small petroleum gauze dressing. A gauze pad. And a large petroleum gauze dressing. All right, guys, well, there you have it. That's a great little pocket first aid kit, and it uh, doesn't take up very much room. And again, the starter can be one of these uh, Johnson & Johnson personal first aid kits that you can get in a uh, drugstore, um, Dollar Tree store, and they already have some materials in there that you can use to start your kit. Now, one thing I'm looking at as I open this kit is there's a butterfly bandage. I certainly would definitely add that to this kit.